You are about to find out which songs and musical performers are this year's winners of the American Music Award. Here are Nicolette Larson and Michael Jackson. I think you're the person to ask. Uh, we'd all like to know what the secret is to having the number one best-selling album in the nation. Well, I think the secret is getting everybody to buy your album. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'll, I'll try and remember now. The nominees for favorite single recording in the category of soul are Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Michael Jackson. And the winner is... Don't stop till you get enough, Michael Jackson. Oh. <laughs> I really appreciate this. This is really beautiful. Thank you, CBS. Thank you, Quincy Jones. Thank you, my mother and father, and all the beautiful fans who bought, you know, the record. And uh, God, I really appreciate it. I love it. Thank you very much. Off the wall, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful again. I'm really happy. Thank you, Quincy, and thank you for all the promotion people, including Fred Man, and the wonderful fans and disc jockeys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, not only for your applause, but thank you for caring. And I'm very happy to be here, and I love you all. Sylvia Chase has a report on that group and its star, Michael Jackson. Hugh Michael Jackson is a superstar, and the group is sensational. There are some people who believe that having always been on stage, you've never had to deal with the real world. Yeah, that's true in one way. That's true in one way. But it's hard to in my position. Um, I try to sometimes, and uh, but people won't deal with me in that way because they see me differently. They won't talk to me like they will the next door neighbor. Michael is quiet now. When he was younger, he wasn't that quiet. But I don't know. I think the stage might have done that to him because wherever he go, everybody's coming out to see Michael Jackson, you know, want to look at him and see what he looks like. And he said he feels like an animal in a cage. When you wish upon a star as dreamers Love is my message. Light Love, For a world that needs to rock together, let the Jacksons light the way. Triumph, featuring the hit singles Lovely One and Heartbreak Hotel on Epic Records and Tapes.
Thank you, Quincy Jones. Thank you, program directors and record buyers and disc jockeys. I love you and uh, I'm very happy. Thank you so much. Goodbye. He just had blockbuster success with his album Off the Wall. Ladies and gentlemen, my baby, Michael Jackson. That you were going to be a giant star, I really did. Well, thank you. Yeah, but I didn't know. What I didn't know is that you were going to get so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> well, I always knew you would. What? Be sexy. <laughs> Don't you, do you guys think she's sexy? <laughs> And here are the singing and acting co-stars of The Wiz, glamorous Diana Ross and handsome Michael Jackson. Diana Ross and Michael Jackson, and it's nice to have you both here tonight. How are you doing, Diana? Michael, this is your escort tonight, huh? I can't hear you. Is he your escort tonight? Absolutely. Oh, this is my day. Look. <laughs> tonight is a night for film. What are your plans in film coming up? We're going to do something soon. He's going to play my son. <laughs> How do you feel about that? It's great. Live with Stacey Lattisaw this Tuesday and Wednesday, August 18th and 19th at Madison Square Garden. Tickets now at the Garden Box Office and Ticketron, a Frankie Crocker and Ron Delsner presentation. interested in writing with me and he rang me he rang me this time it was different he rang me up and um, I didn't believe it was him so I said who's this I said, Michael you sure <laughs> Michael who anyway so we had a joke about that kind of thing and he said yeah I'd like to come over and uh, write with you you know so I said great because I really love this voice he's a great singer and dancer so I'm very impressed with him anyway. So he came over and uh, he came over to England and we just sat down. I thought, well, it's not easy to just sit down with anyone you don't know and, and just write, start a songwriting. Because maybe you've got to get the chemistry right. So, but I thought, well, it is Michael, you know, I mean, I'll just try. If it doesn't work, we just throw it away. We did Paul McCartney first. One thing that I think worked for us is we didn't have time for paralysis from analysis. <laughs> it's 
a question of doing something over and over and over and over again until you get it right and you figure out what it's about. Anybody who's worked with him uh, notices this. The way he'll make you do a thing until it's perfect. He'll say, it's beautiful, we have a take. Then he'll say, well, can you give us one more? <laughs> <laughs> Your hair's really long, isn't it? I don't know. I bet if I start it. If it gets like after, you know, after. What do you want? You don't want? Because it looks better when I keep it down. Blended. When I keep my hair down, really. Yeah. Because it could be blended. Yeah. CA Records and Tapes invite you to relive the magic. E.T., the extraterrestrial, a specially produced storybook album with dialogue and music from the Academy Award-winning movie narrated by Michael Jackson. Exciting dialogue from the original Steven Spielberg movie. Narration by Michael Jackson, a deluxe storybook loaded with color pictures and a giant E.T. and Michael Jackson poster. Come, here's your chance to relive the magic. MCA Records and Tapes presents E.T. the Extraterrestrial, a very special storybook album. Michael Jackson is back in action with his new album, Thriller. Michael's new album featuring his latest hit, Billie Jean, plus his smash single with Paul McCartney, The Girl Is Mine. The Girl Is Mine. Michael Jackson's Thriller, the excitement never lets up. The biggest influence for me was the 60s, uh, the Motown and the Beatles uh, and the Carpenters. And I don't know if all that had a big influence on me. I'm sure it did. And I just project how I feel. Songs come at the strangest times. I could be walking uh, through a park or something and it'll just hit you. Uh, it's, it's no set time that I write. They come, I, I wrote a song in the Concorde, 58,000 feet in the air, and uh, didn't have a tape recorder, so I had to remember it. And uh, <laughs> I got home and put it on tape, so they just come. Epic Records recently brought in Jane Fonda to present Michael with a double platinum album for his Thriller LP, an event marking sales of two million. I love Michael and I admire him. He's the only person I know that writes music that you can dream to and dance to and love to and work out to, and I do all of them. How are you feeling at this time about the success of Thriller? I mean, the music business isn't exactly going gangbusters, and yet you continue to sell records so well. Um, boy, uh, every time I get a platinum album, uh, it's never been taken lightly on my behalf. I'm always honored, and uh, it's great thanks. You know, I'm very happy that the public enjoy what I do, and I'll continue to, uh, to put my heart into my work. Billie Jean is Michael Jackson's single that is currently number one on the rhythm and blues and pop single charts. Jackson is also the first singer ever to have an album and a single in first place on both charts. We also asked him whether after nearly 20 years as a performer, Michael ever wishes he could be something else. No, oh, I love what I do. I, I didn't ask to be a singer. I'm honored to be chosen. I didn't ask to write songs, and I'm happy to be chosen to do it. It's, to me, it's like when the painter takes the paint, you know, and the brush, and he go towards the canvas, and he creates magic. And uh, that's a gift, and I'm thankful to be able to do what I do and have people to love it. How many days of shooting did you beat it? Two. Two nights. They weren't considered days. Uh, long, hard nights. And somewhere around 3 o'clock in the morning, you question whether you even want to stay any longer, but you stay, and you get it.
For every Sunday I fast. I don't eat anything. Um, it's just something I decided to do for my body. Uh, and I dance every Sunday. And uh, I feel better doing it. Do you just fast and dance? I don't eat anything. What music do you dance to when you do this? Mine. Or um, anything that's got a fast beat to it. play I've ever seen. Yeah. It's brilliant. Everybody should see it. The piano. The way you just did it was perfect, but please remember. Okay. Correct. The new songs. On stage is the most magic place I can be. Uh, I can't put it in words. It's uh, it's escapism. It's uh, it's like walking on air. For me, it's the safest place in the world. Uh, to, I can't be heard on stage. I can sleep on stage. I, I hate to leave stage. It's wonderful. I was raised on stage, I, I love it. I don't think about much, I, I don't think at all, actually, I'm feeling it. It's not a thing of thinking or mechanics, it's all spirit and feeling. Really, I'm so much in into the music, I don't think. Doing the Thriller album was a very incredible, wonderful experience working with Quincy Jones and uh, working with so many wonderful musicians. Do you feel anything when you come in here, Mike? Or is it just the presence of Quincy that makes it that makes it acceptable? Both. It's both a lot of hard work. We spent a lot of time. <laughs> we were sleeping out on the couch. Wake up, mix it, go back to sleep. See, me. wake up. And you get your Charlie Chan going about ten o'clock. Michael Jackson's latest, most wonderful album is Thriller. With hit after hit. Get Michael Jackson's new album now. It's Thriller. And the winner is, uh, can't quite make this. This is pretty hard. Um, Michael Jackson or? No. <laughs> Billy Jack, Billy Jean, Jean Billy Jackson. Jackson. Billy Jackson. The winner, Janet and Kashif, is Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Oh. Thank you very much. I thank everyone again who voted for me. I thank the public as well as the disc jockeys. Of all the songs in the Thriller album, I think um, I'm more happy about Billie Jean than any of them uh, because there's a lot of truth in the song. I love you all and thank you. We're trying to bring back the motion picture shorts. And I wanted Thriller and Beat It to be a stimulant for people to make better videos or short films.
Now they're coming together again for a multi-million pound concert tour. A milestone that was announced in a somewhat understated fashion by their overly modest promoter. It's ethereal, it's ephemeral, it's euphoric, it's exciting, it's heavy, it's the Jacksons. <laughs> I, I met him when he was 16. And he's so cute. Then it was time for the man himself, although Michael Jackson wasn't in his most talkative mood. I can't really say much today, I, but I would like to introduce um, some of the family here. When I say magic, I mean wonderment, excitement, escapism, another world. And uh, there are other people who do that sort of thing, like Steven Spielberg or Walt Disney. Um, and, and for the spectators, it's exciting, it's entertainment, it's joy, it's love. It makes my eyes light up. A great concert. I like to create magic myself. I love magic. They want to shake my hand or touch me, and uh, I think it's wonderful. And uh, if I'm projecting something that is good, I think it's wonderful. Your music crosses over, you know, to all different styles, and that other um, artists haven't done this before. Well, I, like I said before, I create right from the heart. There's no um, chemistry that I know of. I just project what I feel. The girls in the balcony, I love you, you're wonderful. <laughs> Billie Jean Michael Jackson! Boy, the American public and I thank all the disc jockeys and everybody, I love you so much and thank you. Okay, uh, Michael Jackson was injured this evening at the Shrine Auditorium while uh, filming a commercial. He was uh, uh, working with some explosive devices and also smoke and a mishap occurred. He sustained a burn which is about the size of your palm to the back of his head. The singer Michael Jackson was unexpectedly released from a Los Angeles hospital today. Jackson was rushed to a hospital last night after suffering second and third degree burns. This was the payoff for the fans tonight. That momentary glimpse of superstar Michael Jackson. I want to make sure he's all right. I want to see him smiling in my face, even though I don't get to see him close up. Five million copies for Thriller. Michael Jackson, the number one artist in the world. For the first time in my entire career, I feel like I've accomplished because I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Reenacting a scene from one of the two spots was Alfonso Ribeiro, star of Broadway's The Tap Dance Kid. It was during the filming of the other commercial in the series that Michael was burned by flying fireworks. MTV presents another exclusive world premiere. Commercial? Michael Jackson's Pepsi commercial for the first time anywhere in the world. Tonight, 
the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences presents its annual Grammy Awards for artistry and excellence in the field of recorded entertainment of the past year. Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson. Yeah. Thriller! Yeah. Beat it, Michael Jackson. Some people are entertainers and some people are great entertainers. Some people um, are followers and some people make the path and are pioneers. Stay right here. to deal with myself if I win more one more award which is this award which is seven which is a record I would take off my glasses <laughs> and the girls and the girls in the back of Now, since Michael Jackson is a proud winner of eight shiny new Grammys, you might expect the sales of his records to suddenly surge. Sorry. You see, sales have always been up. His best-selling album is called Thriller, and it could just as easily be his nickname, for Michael Jackson brings a thrill a minute to his millions of fans. Add up the numbers. He is one of the most popular entertainers of all time, and these days, that means that he's also a one-man... Every camera in town was poised to drink it all in. It was the appearance of recording star and teenage heartthrob Michael Jackson. Well, isn't this a thriller? <laughs> but there was definitely a serious side to the day the effort to dissuade teenagers from drinking and driving. Jackson's voice will be on two radio commercials and two television spots. And that warranted an award for the young, decidedly taciturn entertainer. I'm very, very honored. Thank you very much, Mr. President. <laughs> Andrea, a head of state has never attracted so much attention, so much security, and so much excitement. The crowd all throughout this morning kept chanting, we want Michael, we want Michael. I'm still shocked when someone comes up to buy the Thriller album. It seems everybody has it already. Anything with Michael Jackson on it does continue to sell. I work in a record store and it still just flies out of the store every week. And we're talking about a record that's a year and a half, to almost two years old, and people are still freaking out about it. There have always been fan clubs, Michael's fans more passionate than most. This club calls itself the PYTs. All Michael Jackson lookalikes, part of a nationwide campaign to find superstar clones for parties and promotions. It's the Victory Tour, perhaps the biggest in entertainment history. It's bigger than the Beatles, it's bigger than Presley, it's bigger than anything. Months pass with nothing to show but ugly headlines documenting a tangled web of battling egos and fights over money and power involving agents, lawyers, and the promoter. The Elvis. We're doing it! She brought me on my knees! Jackson's Victory. On Epic Records and Cassettes. Many of Ron Chapman's Dallas listeners agreed, calling in to condemn the Jackson's controversial ticket system, sending in a $120 money order for four tickets, no choice of date or seat, and no guarantee. A lot of people are having trouble getting tickets. I've asked our promoter to end the mail order ticket system as soon as possible so that no one will pay money unless they get a ticket. Finally, and most importantly, there's something else I am going to announce today. I want you to know that I decided to donate all my money I make from the performance to charity. Who would have thought four weeks ago they would have even been performing anywhere? But finally, they are, and today, the Jacksons and Kansas City fit together like a hand in glove. And it's the show it seems everyone wants to see. He's gorgeous! What do you look like? Good! Dark and handsome! 
120 speakers stacked five stories high get a final sound check. Two, three, three. Nobody in their right mind with Mr. Jackson's concert because it's the most spectacular event in entertainment history. Preparations are well underway tonight for the Jackson's Victory Tour concert in Jacksonville tomorrow night. do about anything to see Michael Jackson. Can you help but be a Michael Jackson fan? <laughs> I mean, even if you weren't, you know, if everybody else would just, it would sort of be like osmosis. You know? <laughs> Jackson's manager quoted the singer's statement. It saddens me that many actually believe the present flurry of false accusations. To this end, and we do mean end, no, I have never taken hormones to maintain my high voice. No, I have never had my cheekbones altered in any way. No, I have never had cosmetic surgery on my eyes. Yes. One day in the future, I plan to get married and have a family. Any statements to the contrary are simply untrue. Jackson's spokesman also said the singer will take legal action against anyone who continues to spread this untrue information. Armed with a court order and a list of offenders, Michael Jackson's men struck without warning. The investigators hired by Jackson missed nothing. They seized bootleg t-shirt transfers. They scooped up thousands of Jackson buttons. They loaded up on t-shirts. Investigations show that almost everybody is trying to rip off Michael Jackson, from the corner mom and pop store right up to the major retailers like Eaton's and Sears. And now there's a Michael Jackson hotline with all the inside news. There were more fans on hand and more security personnel than for the unveiling of any other star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. If this area does not back up immediately, we will not be able to have the ceremony. The dedication ceremony caused pandemonium on Hollywood Boulevard when Michael Jackson appeared in front of Man's Chinese Theater. The sidewalk star was unveiled and police had to hold back the surging crowd. They were barely able to do so. But the, the kids were just, uh, you know, he's, he's the most popular performer in the world, and they showed that here today. Some paid over $700. Some even stood in line for days just waiting to get close to him. Now in a special issue, People Magazine takes you even closer. Not just to Michael Jackson, the performer, but Michael Jackson, the person.
The most awful story this day, this week, this time, continues to be the famine in Africa. The famine caused by drought is the worst in living memory. It is difficult to imagine anything more horrendous or pitiful than these camps, but within months things here could be ten times worse. Medical staff say they're short of everything, but above all, they plead to the world for the starving. Finally, it was the night of Monday, January 28th. Over 150 technicians and crew members began assembling a complex audio and video network of equipment. Michael Jackson bypassed the American Music Awards to come in by himself and record one final guide vocal that Quincy could use as a map for the song's chorus parts. Then, a little after 9 p.m., the other singers and their guests began arriving. Many, like Cindy Lauper and Tina Turner and Lionel Richie, were coming straight from the American Music Awards. When I saw those faces come in the studio that night after the American Music Awards, and they just were checking in one by one, uh, Ray Charles, and just on and on, and I started to feel that everybody was on the case. Well, as usual, Michael was a real pro, and he worked so well with all the other artists. The chemistry was great, man. Simultaneously, the song, We Are the World, penetrated all corners of the globe. No matter where you were at 10 minutes to 11 this morning, if you were near a radio, you probably heard the American musical superstar song to fight world hunger. We Are the World is the song, and at 10.50, it was heard everywhere. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones to make a brighter day, so let's start giving. The single was released on March 7th. CBS Records reports that orders for the 45 are coming in at a rate of 150,000 to 200,000 a day. It's going to be phenomenal. We had one order this morning for 50 copies alone. I believe we've sold out of around five times so far. So far, the project has yielded $8.7 million that will go to aid starving children in Africa and the United States. This was the scene that greeted Michael Jackson when he arrived in London. Even Michael's hotel was staked out by his fans. We love Michael! We love Michael! We love Michael! Thousands of Michael Jackson fans packed the road outside Madame Tussauds. Then Michael Jackson's rather battered Daimler only just managed to push its way through the crowd. But when Michael Jackson finally arrived, there was pandemonium. And knowing through bitter experience what the fans would do if they got their hands on him, he made a quick dash to the door. What's it like looking at yourself, Michael? It's fascinating. But it was only a brief visit. Michael Jackson was soon off to continue his London holiday, but not before getting onto the roof of his limousine, to the obvious delight of his faithful fans. And I go to get in the car, and I, as I put my head in, the crowds are just like, you know, they broke the, the bobby, so they started like really getting on top of us. Here. And I couldn't see what was happening because I'm only five foot two, so I didn't see everything that was going on. I looked in the car, so where's Michael? And as I said that, he was coming down off the roof. He had gotten up on the roof and was waving to the crowd in the car. You know? So I, 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 I got in first and pulled him in. And he's in there laughing, and I'm in there going, Mike, you're nuts, you're crazy. What are you doing up there? And he says, I'm not nuts, I'm just human. You know, I just wanted to wave to my fans. Wave to me, he said hello.
Michael's <laughs> talent and, and approach is so unique that that you're you're limiting yourself by just giving him what you do. Michael has composed two new songs, especially for Captain EO. The first he's written since the Thriller album, And We Are the World. The new songs are called Another Part of Me, and We Are Here to Change the World. We called up and we said, uh, Michael, would you like to do something right. with the parts? He said, definitely, but only if you can get George Lucas to protect me. He does not have a fracture that we suspected. It's a bad sprain to the right hand. He's going to be placed into a special splint and should be able to continue his filming. Did he tell you how it happened? He actually has had a couple of injuries the last week, uh, one to his thumb and the other one to his hand. Uh, the initial one was aboard the spacecraft, apparently, and it, it rocked, and uh, he fell, actually, falling on his hand, and the second one was during a dance routine. Robert Holmes Accord would sell the superstar a rare musical catalogue, including a Beatles collection. In return, Michael Jackson would fly to Perth for telephone. outside broadcast on the Saturday morning at, outside the entertainment centre. We were hoping that Michael would arrive there, but we were unsure whether he ever would. Michael Jackson. Michael, welcome to Perth, officially. We've had the Lord, Lord Mayor's welcome and uh, the thousands of teenagers and youngies and oldies who gathered to see you today. You've had a pretty busy day so far. Yes, I have. Well, I'm happy to be here. Everybody has been so wonderful and so kind. It's worth the trip. It's a long flight, but it's worth it. We're terrifically pleased that you came, Michael. Thank you very much for coming. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest for Telethon 1985, Michael Jackson. Would not have inspired us in quite the same way as we were inspired to Michael Jackson. We'd like to bring up Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie, Quincy Jones here, and Ken Craig. We are the ones to make pride a day, so let's go get it. Sing along, would you? There's a choice we make making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we make a better day. Yes, you believe. Grammy goes to We Are the World, Quincy Jones, producer. We Are the World. First, I'd like to thank God. And I also like to say, when you leave here, remember the children. Thank you. Um, that's one of the hardest uh, questions to answer because uh, it just comes. Songs just kind of create themselves. So you, I wanted something that the whole world could sing. All right. Pepsi held a press conference in New York to announce the signing of a record-breaking contract for Michael Jackson. For years, he's thrilled us here. For years, he's put smiles on the faces of the public. 
Now Michael Jackson will have a chance to do what he's always wanted to do, to make the entire world smile with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jackson. But much to the irritation of journalists summoned together for the occasion, Mr. Jackson broke his silence for a mere six seconds. This is a great honor. Thank you, Mr. Enrico and Pepsi Associates. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Reliable rumor has it that the three-year contract will give him something over eight million pounds. Now, this is a lot of money, whatever the figure is, to, to pay any sort of star. Is he actually worth it? Well, I think he is. <laughs> I think he is. Does he actually drink the stuff? You know, I honestly don't know, and I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> That's why I don't know. I'm afraid to ask. is the only other place in the universe outside of Disneyland where one can see this 3D musical motion picture space adventure. It's not a ride, it's not an exhibit, it's not just for kids, and it's not just for grown-ups. Captain EO, as the folks in Florida will soon find out, is a total experience. How can you go wrong with Michael Jackson and, uh, and Disney, huh? You just can't go wrong with that, can you? Oh, the special on Captain EO. No! No. <laughs> So you might as well face it. We're all addicted to, addicted to love. Well, it's so far so good. It is quite different from anything I've ever recorded or I've ever written. Uh, it's a bold statement to say. It's actually part of a true story. This kid who went to school upstate in the country, whatever, and he is a black kid like me, and uh, who is from the ghetto, um, and he tried to make something of his life. And he would leave his old friends behind, and when he came back um, on spring break or whatever, Thanksgiving break, his, friend, his friends became so uh, envious, jealous of him, that they killed him. But in the film, I don't die, of course. Yeah. No one can quite say what the creative process is, because I have nothing to do with it almost, because it's created in space. It's God's work, not mine. Go more like, it's gotta be more like, like small. you're feeling something, yeah. Listen internal. to this, listen to this, listen to this. Tell them. Right now, the end, are you okay? It's too big. It should be more internal. So you got more movement. It should be more like, like something's going on inside of you. I mean, that's why when we build it to a mountain and we bring it back down, it's got to have that emotion. I want the music to represent the way we feel. 
you know, it's got to it's got to dictate our emotion, right. you know, our moods. We're expressing the way everybody feels. This rebellion, you know what I mean? We're letting out what we always wanted to say to the world. <laughs> okay, here we go. Places, please, everyone. ago Michael Jackson released the biggest selling album in pop music history thriller since then he's become more famous for his bizarre behavior than Not for his everybody music who tries to buy the elephant man's bones most people don't sleep in an oxygen chamber or go out in public covered with a mask to hide their plastic surgery. rumors that he uses female hormones to keep his voice high and takes chemicals to make his skin lighter More music, Z100, Michael Jackson, I just can't stop loving you. You're not gonna play A lot of people get so hung up on the Michael Jackson uh, image, but one thing that uh, people seem to uh, forget about is that he makes great music. On August 31st, something bad is going to happen to you and to millions of people around the world. Bad, the explosive new album from Michael Jackson. In store August 31st. The CBS record plant has been working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to turn out eight times the normal advance order for a major LP. Bad is unlikely to match the 40 million sales of the phenomenal thriller, but it's certain to enter next week's album chart at number one as the biggest LP of the year. Now a new chapter in Michael's career comes into focus with the release of his new album, Bad, and the September 12th launch of his first ever solo tour. Michael Mania is once again sweeping the world. What will he sound like? What will he look like? How will he move? No one is really sure, but we are sure of one thing. Here he comes. This is the 1987 model Michael Jackson. Five years on from Thriller, the formula's familiar and the moves are just as sharp. Only the face has been changed. Whether bad is any good or not, at first listen it sounds like success, it should sell by the million. They were queuing all over America, snapping up the first copies of Michael Jackson's latest offering. It's called Bad, but it was a good day at the record shop Tills. After five years of comparative seclusion, he's changed his image. Long hair, an even gentler look. It's a lot of talk. A lot of people are talking about it and how foolish he looks. The look, well, <laughs> the new look is not too hot, but the album is great, and he's a great entertainer. What do you think about the Michael Jackson record? I think it's beautiful. I think the whole album is beautiful. Like they say, the magic is back. Michael is the greatest. For a star who shuns the spotlight, rarely if ever gives interviews, and appears excruciatingly shy, Michael Jackson has attracted a huge public following. Uh, Michael Madness. You've heard of Beatlemania. This is Michael Madness. Everybody's coming in and buying Michael Jackson. It's been almost four years since you recorded or come out with a new album. How do you feel now that the album is out? I feel rejuvenated, kind of. Because after working on it so long, it's so much work. A lot of people, they're used to um, just seeing the outcome of work. They never see the side of the work you go through. People believe a lot of crazy stories they read. Yeah. Some is true, some is not. And, uh, you ever want to lash out in any type of way and say, hey, that's not true? Yeah, a lot of times. But why bring more attention to a thing? You know? uh
This 87-88 tour began in Japan, and the reactions were wonderful. The people are so sincere and so hospitable. Thank you, Japan. If you were looking for souvenirs, you didn't have to go too far. One of the top sellers was the Michael Jackson hat for $32. But you could also get Michael t-shirts, posters, towels, and even a Michael telephone card. While in Tokyo, we were lucky enough to catch a rare glimpse of Michael's home video, showing a Jackson shopping spree. Together with a few select friends, Michael has a huge department store to himself. It's the same as uh, blowing no. into. Well, you can't. It's not the same as. Uh, can you get any sound out of it? You need about three years of uh, practice. Uh, Inside with the tour, Japanese businesses are taking full advantage of Michael Mania. He's a great, he's my dream. He's superstar. I want there's 700 lights there and all types of effects and, and just a beautifully mounted show. I've never ever seen him nervous about anything. I called him just before he went on this show. This is his first solo tour ever. I said, you're nervous? He said, no, I can't wait to get on stage tonight. It was all leading up to the first show, and as 38,000 fans filed into the stadium, had one thing in mind. scheduled to do nine concerts, but there was so much demand, we did 14. Nixon's invasion of Japan is nothing short of bad. He's accompanied on the tour by an 85-person entourage, 110,000 pounds of equipment, and one chimpanzee by the name of Bubbles. Now, you must understand, Bubbles is sensitive to cigarette smoke. So to get rid of any residual odor, Jackson asked the hotel to re-wallpaper the room. And they did. I think considering just what he's all about and his stature in the business, I think Ma Michael's uh, overwhelmingly <laughs> sane and normal. Bubbles is a funny little guy. He's fun to be around, you know. <laughs> Most of my dreams seem to come true, and I'm so thankful that they do. I don't know over what period of time, but I, I have lots of dreams, and they usually come true, and I'm so glad. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love children and animals, and that's what's so wonderful about traveling. I get to see all the cultures and people and the children. It's wonderful. It's my greatest inspiration, I would say.
his following may be enormous, but some people can be unkindly critical, which has prompted Mr. Jackson to hit back with a letter which ended up in America's People magazine. The letter concludes with the plea, have mercy, for I've been bleeding for a long time now. The letter will probably make people feel more sympathetic who already were sympathetic. I mean, basically, he's, he's saying that he's being persecuted and that he's bleeding. And I think it's even going to have an effect on people who've been ridiculing him, and it's been quite a few. Uh, on some level, it's, it's going to be real hard to really continue making fun of someone who seems so vulnerable. But his letter makes it clear that people should mind their own business and let him get on with his singing. <laughs> Thirty thousand so there was so much trouble. people passed through Olympic Park turnstiles. Many were searched for weapons and alcohol. Program! Program! Glossy reading material was also available. As soon as the sky got dark, the stage exploded with light and Michael Jackson. Suddenly the lights blacked out, a thundering roar filled the air and the enveloping darkness was split by a blinding flash of white laser light which erupted from the stage as a panel rose and five figures slowly emerged. The rock star has already performed 14 concerts in Japan but his efforts in the east obviously hadn't drained him. Last night Jackson was full of dynamic energy, showing off his unique dancing style, electric movement and spellbinding voice to a crowd of more than 32,000 who watched in rapture. A high voltage performance wired up to another world. The man they call Pops Peter Pan is in full flight. If there was ever a pure entertainment machine, you're watching it. If I could give you a wish, is there anything you wish for? There's so many I have, but one of them, one of the main ones, would be as uh, simple as making the whole world happy and world peace. Instead of easing into it, maybe you're just, a, you know, just really in it. A flurry. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could. I'm, I feel so okay. limited. This stuff is so tight on. So we started with some of the principal photography and a lot of the planning prior to the finishing of the album. We went to Japan. We came back, we shot more of the film, so it, it took a while. But of course, a lot of the other production stuff was being done, and the tapes were being sent to Michael and I. Jackson has become more involved not only with acting, but also the art of filmmaking. Having worked with John Landis and Martin Scorsese, the directors of Thriller and The Bad Videos. We want some more of this kind of stuff on yeah, As long as it doesn't compete with this, because this is got to be bigger. Oh, yeah. This book is my way of speaking to the world. Read Moonwalk, Michael Jackson's own story, the real truth about how he changed his looks, about his favorite sister, and his movie ambitions. Michael Jackson is in Kansas City and ready to kick off the first American leg of his world tour. But first, an insider's view of Jackson as never before seen putting together his show in Pensacola, Florida. Good to see you. Been a while. Wherever you are. I'm out here in the dark. Michael will be touring for well over a year. He says it will be his last, and he wants to concentrate on making it his best. A lot of hard work goes into our rehearsals. Everything's got to come out just right. The bass gotta have more bottom. The bass is too bouncy. Like, it's gotta be. We're starting all over again with the American tour. We're building a new show with new sets, staging, and some new songs. Michael had not yet seen the new stage for his U.S. tour until he showed it to me. Now that stage has been taken apart and moved to Kansas City. It's what Michael Jackson fans have waited for. His first solo American tour. And tonight, the expected 17,000 are promised his most dazzling show ever. So everybody come in and you'll see Michael Jackson here and he's here in KC. As Showtime drew near, it became apparent that Jackson's appeal goes from young to old. 
I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. A grandmother brought six grandchildren, and Michael Jackson is back. Yeah. Better life. He could have. He could not have been any better. It was fantastic. Next stop for Michael's New York, where Wednesday night he'll perform "Man in the Mirror" at the Grammy Awards. Ten thousand people are expected during the course of the evening, and they're already beginning to line up here. Among them, the organizers and the stars of tomorrow's Grammy Awards. Michael Jackson didn't rehearse at Radio City today, but he will be taking part in tomorrow's awards. During the show, Michael will compete head-to-head -head with Bruce Springsteen in the best male pop vocal category, and in the commercial breaks, when Michael's hot new commercials for Pepsi will make their debut. Best R&B Vocal Performance Male. The Grammy for Album of the Year. Bad, Michael Jackson. Album producers Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson. And the Album of the Year is... The Joshua Tree. Ooh. You too. Just to see you, Smokey Robinson. Robinson. Despite coming up empty at the Grammys, Michael Jackson had the audience rocking in the aisles at a hot benefit concert in New York. Jackson's electrifying appearance at the Grammy Awards made an already excited crowd at Madison Square Garden even more so. He's terrific. He's the best song I like about Michael when he rocked that ABC, so that was hype. Nah, the man in the mirror is better. No, nah, like better. Like ABC. ABC. Nah, the man in the mirror. The next stop was New York with three sold out shows at Madison Square Garden. And the first night was certainly star-studded. The world's best-known Irishmen were among the many who paid a visit backstage. All proceeds from the concert went to the United Negro College Fund, and Michael reserved the best seats in the house for underprivileged kids. Michael Jackson took a break from his tour Thursday to receive an award from the United Negro College Fund in New York. Among the famous faces in the crowd were Quincy Jones, Elizabeth Taylor, and Liza Minnelli. President Reagan sent a taped message, and Whitney Houston sang America the Beautiful. Michael received an honorary doctorate from Fisk University and made what was for him a long speech. I believe I'm nervous. <laughs> Michael went on to thank God, his friends, and his parents, and also talked about why he was there. About the United Negro College Fund, an education opens a person's mind to the entire world. There is nothing more important than to make sure everyone has the opportunity for an education. Michael Jackson is a national treasure. If he had his way, every kid in this country would learn. I think you're one of the finest people that has hit this planet. Thanks to a scholarship fund he set up and a recent benefit concert, Michael is one of the United Negro College Fund's all-time largest contributors. And Michael's one-man tour continues this weekend. <laughs>
that happy. <laughs> That's for sure. He just gives himself to the audience. You can feel his love. I like the way he dances and I like some of his songs. All of his songs. I camped out for 36 hours. 36 hours and got four throw tickets. And he's really good. Michael doesn't do press conferences because a lot of times he ends up getting grossly misquoted. And um, Michael's back at the hotel actually resting and getting ready for the show tomorrow. You know, we do have uh, a very important tour here, and uh, I would like him to get as much rest. All of his life, you know, in the front of the hotel, every hotel he stays in, in front of his home, even when he's not recording for three years, there's this crowd of, of, of kids out in front of his home. And I guess if that, that becomes the norm. Uh, his fame has, has brought him happiness and financial reward, but it also can sometimes become uh, a little lonely because you can't openly go as many places as maybe you would like to. Uh, but he, he understands that and he deals with it quite well, better than most people realize. But everything has a sacrifice. I don't care what you do, if you're going to be successful. Because he is a celebrity, because he is famous. And I think a lot of people think, yeah, they only see him once, if they see him, and then they want to touch him. Yeah, well, one is not so not a problem, but a thousand at one time, that can be quite difficult. What a lovely day! Yes, lovely! Good heaven! Right now, Pepsi is sending hundreds of you Yanks on holiday to London, all expenses paid. On a trip so exciting, everybody's getting caught up in it. Because you'll be going to see Michael Jackson at Wembley Stadium, courtesy of Pepsi. After that, you and London may never be the same. Hundreds crowded onto the observation terraces to get a glimpse of the boy king of hype and high singing. Most were barely into their teens. They stood almost reverently awaiting their adored one. For those who witnessed Beatlemania and Osmond uproar, it was all a bit boring. 
But beneath those cool 1980s facades, Jacko hysteria was beginning to build. Oh, I just think everything, everything about him is good. He's really a perfectionist, and that's really good for his fans. Yeah. Have you got tickets? Yeah! It was for the faithful to speak of the eccentric superstar who still attracts a fanatical following despite stories about his mental state and a penchant for plastic surgery. Then suddenly there he was, a man with more faces than Rory Bremner, showing his latest one to the photographers and then to the fans, boarding an airline minibus and heading off towards the sound of the screaming. He waved, they squealed, he waved some more. It was all over in seconds, but it was too much for some. <laughs> what did you manage to see? I just saw Probably him. Energy. His reaction has been great. How could it not be? I mean, they love him. They flock to him. It's just tremendous, and he handles it so well. Wembley's welcome to Michael Jackson as the fans start gathering for the blockbusting series of seven sellout concerts. <laughs> He does a wicked dance routine, wicked, wicked. Yes. I love it! I love it! She said, I want to talk to you. So I said, yeah, what's, what's happening? She said, are you going to do Dirty Diana tonight? I said, no, no, I took it out of the show, out of respect for you. She said, that's my favorite song. I said, are you serious? I said, I took it out of respect because I'm Dirty Diana, you're in the audience. So at that point, I couldn't put it back in the show because it was too close to showtime. So um, I remember, um, Prince Charles leaving the line, walking over to us, and he said, what are you talking about? And she said, oh, nothing like that. Around a million pounds a performance in Britain, that's about 200 pounds a second. After another four nights at Wembley, he's off to Europe before returning to Britain for concerts in Cardiff, Liverpool, Leeds, and Milton Keynes. Listen, I thought he was supposed to be asexual. That's the raunchiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> But tonight, the young faces in the crowd wanted to see just one person. Michael Jackson will be here. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. It's going to be best. brilliant. You're looking forward to the concert, are you? Yes, brilliant. He's so sexy and he moves great. Different. He's pure sex when he's dancing. It's the biggest concert ever going to be here. It's the biggest concert ever here. And every once in a while I have to remind myself I forget how much history that we're making. And that's good though. That's good. Because I just want to get up every day and do my job. And when it's all over, I'll look back at it. The more the rumors have grown about his face, his pet monkey, his pet snake, and his bank account. But despite, or maybe because of, the continuing legends, Jackson's solo success has soared. And although Jackson's latest album, Bad, hasn't been doing quite as well, this world tour, with all its technical wizardry, should help boost those sales just a little. Yeah, I sincerely hope uh, this award will rescue this artist from obscurity and set him on the road to fame and fortune. And gives me great pleasure to give the Video Vanguard Award to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Nothing could prepare you for his movie. Moonwalker. It's written in the stars. It's been about three months now since Michael asked me to announce that he really is serious about not doing any more concert tours by the time he finishes the last show of his record-breaking world tour last weekend at the sports arena. Let's go. 
how drained and exhausted he gets from what he gives on stage at every one of the 123 shows he's played to four and a half million people during the past year and a half, Michael's decision is more understandable. Michael says his new focus will be performances he can preserve, recordings and movies mainly, like Moonwalker, already the biggest selling musical tape in home video history. You've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. But still, nobody nowadays does live performance better than Michael Jackson. As Michael Jackson was taking his last bow, ending what could have been the last live concert of his life. Love you, California! Aren't you going to miss this kind of thing, that energy? The, the audience is going crazy out there. How are you going to stay away from it? I don't know. It is my last one. Are you, are you really never going to do another one? No. Okay. That's it. Thank Michael. you. I'd like to give his award to him, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jackson. Thank you very much, Eddie Murphy. Could you lift that up, please? Gentlemen, the 1989 Heritage Award, and in my estimation, the true king of pop, rock, and soul, Mr. Michael Jackson. First, I'd like to thank God who makes all things possible. I thank Bill Bray, John Branca, the Epic family, Walter Yetnikoff, and Larry Stesso and Glenn Brunman. I love you. Thank you very much. The nominees for Best R&B Urban Contemporary Single by Male are for the Best R&B Urban Contemporary Music Video, Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Man in the Mirror, Michael Jackson. And the winner. Man in the Mirror, Michael Jackson. Um, thank you again. I want to thank um, the entire public. I want to thank everybody who worked on these wonderful projects. I'd like to thank you, the public. Thank you very much. I love you. This album marks the 25th anniversary of the Jacksons' first performance in Gary, Indiana, and the entire family had a hand in its production, including all of the children. Has there ever been a time when you've had to say, forget all the success, the money, the celebrity, and remember that we are just family? Yes, there, there have been many times when uh, situations like that come about, and what's important to us is the fact that we had each other be, before success. No matter how far we go as far as success or uh, in the situation is family you have different members who have different heights of, of success and still but what started all with was the Jacksons. If you are Michael Jackson you cannot walk around in public you'll be mobbed but sometimes even Jackson wants to go shopping so he wears a disguise and that's exactly what he did when he went into this shopping mall in Simi Valley California 
The sales clerk at Zales noticed a suspicious character who seemed to be wearing a disguise. Tell me what you thought about this whole thing. It must have been pretty funny out there having Michael Jackson. It was funny, but it was also a little bit frightening. I mean, if he would have been wearing his glove, we would have known who he was. How old were you when you first knew you had AIDS? 13. Oh, that's when, it, yeah, because I remember seeing that on the television. And these people in this new town, how are they treating you? Great. They really accepted me with open arms. Just treat me like I was any other person there. Mm. Perseverance and your will to want to live. It's one of the things that have, you know, yeah. patients survive so long when so many other AIDS patients have died. I try to think, you know, I'm like, what I want to do when I'm getting my get out. Yeah, so so you're saying your mind has a lot to do with your health. That's everything. That's, that's great inspiration for a lot of sick people to know that. Is this a Mustang? Yeah, it's a funny car, like it. This one looks like it's like a racer one. Very rewarding, successful career. Thank you. this plaque to you on behalf of the parents and faculty, past and present, of Gardner School as a token of our respect and our love for you, not only as a performer, but as a fine human being. Wow. <laughs> I am deeply touched and honored that the PTA principal and faculty members and students have been so kind as to dedicate the auditorium where I sat as a child in my honor. <laughs> we must all never forget that the children are our future, and without them, mankind would become extinct. were fondly remembered last night by people that you and I know as stars, but to Sonny Davis Jr., they're just fun. I love them. <laughs> Your band don't know that song, do they? No, don't, don't you play a note of it. <laughs> We're going to play party all the time. to present to Eddie and I'll let Michael tell you the rest. Present it to the king of comedy, Eddie Murphy, the greatest comedian of all time, the king. We gotta give you this. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Just oh, wait right there. Michael Award. Wait, go okay. <laughs> Well, stay with Michael, don't leave. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Here with Michael. MTV sent this over. I don't know if you know about this, viewers, but the viewers award for Michael Jackson for the greatest video in the history of all videos, thrilling. That's in this business but that's one yeah, person when he's around I'm yeah, still I like, know what to say now. It's like you, know, you want to go home now it's like yeah. the show is over boy I'm still like you know I'm still shaking <laughs> <laughs> So 
So while the rest of us grew 10 years older in the 80s, Michael Jackson seemed to remain just about what he had always been. Talented, unorthodox, elusive, childlike, consummate showman, wonderful singer, dazzling dancer, the most important entertainer of the decade. Jackson has sold $625 million in records alone for the 1980s. If you figure in concerts, merchandise, and other holdings, a good guess would put him over a billion dollars.